Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be reviewing um, Caesar Cardini's Caesar dressing. Okay. Now we're going to look at the nutrition facts. Now the best dressings in the whole world is the ones that you make at home from scratch because it's a lot healthier, you know what's in there, and you're not using highly inflammatory oils such as soybean. But hey, it's okay to venture out once in a while and try something new, somebody, something somebody else made. You know, I don't eat this stuff every day, so it's all right. Um, interesting story. The Caesar dressing was, um, and you can look it up on, on um, Google and um, Wikipedia. Interesting story. I'm always wanting to learn. I've known some of this uh, years ago, but I didn't know what he looked like or where he was from or anything like that. Um, I've heard many different things from many people. They thought Caesar, uh, it was named after Caesar. Uh, they thought it was... Um, uh, something to do with the Romans and it really didn't so you know I, I've heard a lot of things so I have to look it up myself he invented the Caesar dressing in 1924 in Tijuana Mexico Tijuana Mexico uh, he is Italian born in Italy a hundred percent Italian I still don't know why but I'm gonna look it up and if I find anything I'll put it in the comments below um, why Tijuana, Mexico? I'm just curious. I love learning stuff like this. So if you want to read that, pause it. Okay. This is not ref um, refrigerated. You can find this in the condiments aisle next to all the salad dressings. Okay. So it's not going to be in produce or anything. So, yeah. That, that's, a, that's very interesting. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh, um, I think it was for something. I'm going to put the price in the description box below. Okay, so I already shook this, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like. The texture, color, and everything. That's what it looks like. It's not very thick. It's just perfect. Smell, oh, smells so good. Smells so good. I know I'm using a fork, y'all, but it was like the closest thing to me right now. I know what this tastes like. It's zesty. It tastes light. Um, it's not your typical dressing like you would buy like Ken Steakhouse or Kraft. It's not too zesty. It's not too salty. You can definitely taste the, the Parmesan and all that. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not sweet. There's no, you know, there's no sweetness to it. There's no spiciness to it at all. It just tastes very light and smooth. Um, if you love Caesar dressing, but you want it to be light, you don't want it to be too thick or too tangy or just too processed tasting, like too artificial tasting, then you'll really like this. It is expensive. Now, Walmart has it for $4 and some change. It's probably expensive somewhere else. Um, so... Yeah, if you're looking for a light Caesar, I can definitely taste that Parmesan. It is so good. I would definitely buy this again. If you guys have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys, and stay safe and warm.